I just sold one of my Udemy accounts for $15,000. And before selling it, it had also made me over $5,000. How much time did I put into creating courses for this specific account? Maybe about three hours, mainly having AI do the work for me. I'm not kidding. Of course, it took years for me to learn everything and months for the account to pick up for it to be worth what I sold it for, but the actual manpower involved was infinitesimal. So how can you do this? In other videos, I've taught you how to set in motion all the stuff that you don't have to do for yourself. You find a profitable course topic, you find someone who can make the course, and you agree to pay them a percentage of whatever the course makes instead of paying them upfront. You can learn all of this in my other videos, or you can get my free guide in the description that outlines everything and that has a hundred juicy topics so that you don't have to do the research yourself. But in this video, I'll teach you all the things I recommend that you do yourself. So I think the best way to do this is to walk you through the actual process that I would do if I were making a course right now. So let's assume that you already added your instructor to the course and they already uploaded all the lessons directly here. So in this case, we're doing a Python hacking course. I did this because back in the day, I actually had the best seller for this. And at its peak, it made me like $600 a month or something like that, pretty nice. But let's assume they already uploaded all the content. Obviously you can see there's there's no content. I just made these lessons up with, with ChatGPT. But now we have this, obviously it would probably be longer, be longer and whatnot. But let's imagine that this is the situation. We have all the lessons uploaded. What do we do next? Okay, so I'm in ChatGPT and I gave it a prompt. I said, I'm going to send you the lesson titles for my online course on Python hacking. I want you to make them better, make them direct commands and make it exciting for students. So something like, quote, master the handstand with this secret technique, end quote. So I'm doing this for two reasons. First, I don't know anything about the topic. I don't know anything about Python hacking. So I want ChatGPT to make the lesson titles better. I want good, decent copy to be on the lessons to, you know, get students excited. But also while I'm doing this, I'm also giving ChatGPT all the content, all the curriculum for the course. So that's gonna help us in the next steps. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'm just gonna rename all the lessons with the titles it gives me. Maybe I'll change some things to make it make more sense, more sense or sound better. Sometimes it makes it a little too flashy, but basically I'm just gonna do that for now. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and I changed all of the titles. It even gave me the titles for the sections, so that's pretty nice. And I'll just take you through the process of what happened because it's you know a little funny and it's, it's always interesting to see what prompts. So I gave it the prompt that I told you, then uh, I gave it screenshots, two screenshots of all the lesson titles. And for some reason it started creating an image, so I just told it to not create an image. Then it gave me some titles, but they were extremely flashy and, and not human. So I, I titled it less flashy and it made me, you know, decent titles. Some of them I changed a little, but you know, this is not a crucial point, but it's nice to have um, nice lesson titles. And now ChatGPT knows all the content of our course, so we can go into the next steps. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is the description. So what I did was I went to the bestseller of something in the industry, which is programming. I went to the bestseller on web development and I copied their description. And then I said, I told ChatGPT, I said, now that you know all the content of our course, help me come up with a good description. Use this one as inspiration, but adapt it to make sense for our content and course topic, Python hacking. So I'm just gonna give it that. It's gonna give me a description. I'm probably gonna work on it a little bit if I was actually gonna publish this course, but then you're gonna have a pretty decent description. Let's see what it comes up with. So this is what it gave me and I went ahead and copied it onto the description on Udemy. I mean, you can go ahead and read it if you want. Again, there's some stuff that's pretty flashy and I would go ahead and, and edit it if I was actually going to publish this course. But basically you now have a, a description that's probably pretty good. And you'll obviously have to make sure it's actually describing your course. So if it's like, like here it says 60 hours of content, I've never released a course that long. So you're gonna wanna change that to, to make sense. And you know, just go through and edit whatever makes sense. But the next part we're gonna work on is the title and the subtitle. So next you wanna to go to Udemy Marketplace Insights and you wanna take a screenshot of the keywords for that niche. So here I am on Python hacking, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this and put it on ChatGPT. Okay, so I gave it the screenshot with the keywords and this niche is actually not necessarily the best one to do with AI. Like you can see that Python hacking is just the ultimate keyword. So you just wanna include that as many times as you can, but let's still do it for the example. So I told it, now let's come up with a title, 60 characters, cause that's how much Udemy gives us. And the subtitle, 120 characters. Make sure to include these keywords as many times as you can for SEO. 
Do not be afraid to repeat the same keyword, especially the ones that show at the top, like Python hacking. Give me 20 examples. So I told it that because sometimes it just does the keyword once and then tries to include other ones. And I did the 20 examples because then we can mix and match which ones we like to get our title. So first it gave me some really short ones, then it gave me like subtitles too, so I had to tell it like, okay, no, do this, just orient it a little bit. And here it gave me 20 um, titles and then I would go ahead mix and match these to come up with the perfect title and then repeat the process for the subtitle. So after mixing and matching everything that ChatGPT gave me, I came up with this title and came up with this subtitle. So titles and subtitles that I, that I have sometimes sound a little quirky, but keep in mind that ideally the main thing you wanna get out of the titles is to repeat the main keywords so that when people are typing that on Udemy, your course is gonna come up as the most relevant. Okay, so that's the main take away from the title section. The next thing I did was ask ChatGPT for some things that students will learn in this course. Obviously it can give us relatively uh, good things because it knows the curriculum of the course. And I told it to do it in direct commands because I think it's better for the copy. So it gave me 10 things. I took my five favorite, I put them here on the what will students learn in your course section on Udemy. And then at the end I just added and so much more to you know embellish the course. So that's basically all of the copy that we need. There's a few things that we need and we can also, um, a few things remaining and we can also do those with ChatGPT. So the last thing we're gonna do is get a thumbnail using AI. Now, I don't usually use ChatGPT and I'm planning to make a full video on that, but for now, I just told it now come up with a thumbnail for the course and it came up with this kind of cool thing. I don't know if I would like it as a thumbnail, but you know, it's pretty cool. Then I said, use these as inspiration and I gave it a screenshot of all the Python hacking courses that are um, online or on Udemy. And you can also use that for titles too, by the way. You can give it like the, the, the titles of the best sellers as inspiration so it knows what sort of tone you're looking for. Same thing we did with the description. And so it came up with this. You can't have um, writing on your, on your thumbnails on Udemy, so I, I wouldn't be able to use that. I don't know that I would use it anyway, but you know, you can play around with that feature too and potentially come up with a thumbnail. Again, I'm probably gonna make a separate video on thumbnails because those are pretty important to rack up conversion, but this is a method you can use. The last thing you could use um, ChatGPT or, or AI for is coming up with a promo video script. The same thing we did with this, the description, you would just come up with a script and say to mold it after that. So once it knows all the content, you say, okay, now use this script as reference to come up with a script for a promotional video for our course. You can either have someone record the promo for you or you can do it yourself. And if you do it yourself, uh, this is a good way to get a nice script for it. So that's everything I would do to publish a course once the lessons are already uploaded to the course. After that, you wanna go ahead and add some articles, some assignments, some downloadable resources, and I'm actually gonna make a separate video probably on all of that. So now you know everything I did, exactly what I did with AI to get the results that I told you at the beginning of this video. So if you wanna learn more about this model, you wanna learn how to get people to get make the courses for you, you can either watch my other videos, you can leave a comment, I'd be happy to respond to any questions. You can get my free guide in the description, or if you're serious about it, you can get on a free call with me, we can see if we're a good fit to work together. And if we are, I'll take you for 12 weeks, step by step through every single part of the process so you can start your online course publisher on Udemy, I'll tell you hacks like the ones I told you today, and so, much more.